Hey, this is John Carlos, and I'm here with a look at the GameStop exclusive Doctor Who Funko Pop of Evolving Dalek Sec. Right around when the Doctor Who Pop started hitting stores, we started finding out about exclusives, and there was an exclusive uh, Barnes & Noble Dalek Sec, which I thought was kind of cool, but I thought the GameStop version, where he's evolving Dalek Sec, is way more interesting, because the uh, Barnes & Noble one is just a regular-ass, you know, pop of a Dalek and it's just painted black. This is way more interesting, so I kind of waited for this one to come out. Now, uh, before we get into the actual review, uh, th there's a lot of weird stuff, you know, a lot of the pops that we've been getting lately have this weird, like, schmutz on them, like from the factory, this sort of kind of white, cummy looking film. Sometimes it's like a powder, um, which, you know, like my TARDIS was covered in, there's a few others that are covered in it, like my, uh, my Hulkbuster. But it's really noticeable against black. Like, you can see it all around the edge of the eye stalk here. It looks like, you know, the Dalek took a load to the face and then didn't clean up after, and it's all dried up. All around the edge in the back here, too. Look at all that. I heard it's because... I think Funko's factory used to be in Vietnam, and now it's in China. Or it used to be in China, and now it's in Vietnam, as far as, like you know, where this is actually painted at. Because obviously there are people that are sculpting it here in the States. But, um, you know, this is just stuff I read on the internet. I don't know how true it is, but supposedly the way the factories run over there, uh, you know, creates more of this film that you see on a lot of these pops. So that's kind of annoying that I have to, like, clean off this pop. But, uh, whatever. Having said that, I don't know how boring that was for you guys to watch, but look, uh, this actual pop, on its own terms, looks freaking cool. Like, if you like Daleks and you like pops, how, how unique and interesting is this to actually see it opened up with the, uh, little alien inside. Now, it's called the, you know, Evolving Dalek because, you know, Dalek sect does kind of morph it and all that, but there's no actual evolution. I would just call it the Open Dalek, but since it is episode specific to when he evolves, I get it. But I just like that it's an Open Dalek. Now, uh, if you look in there, you could see his uh, little sculpted head and the little wrinkles in it. And I like that he's got like a single basic yellow pop eye, but the tentacles look good. The tentacles are well sculpted. Um, so he looks awesome. And I like the gack underneath him and how it's kind of painted gray. Um, and then you get to the actual rest of it. And look, the, uh, the, the basic sculpt of it, like the head and the eye stock looks great. The use of black paint looks really good. The little lights on the top of the head look good. And the little rings here by the eye stock look great. But what I dig is the open sections, right here, the little two top rings that, that busted open. Um, and then the, the, uh, the lower portion with the little laser and the plunger on it. Also, the little use of silver paint against the black is really good. The silver paint does pop really well. Um, and then the rest of it, like, you know, the actual base looks good. Um, it's, you know, modified from the original design of a, of a Dalek. The uh, regular Daleks have you know, more bumps going up and have more rings going around them. But again, that's how they popified it and cutified it, if you will. Um, if you're hunting for this, be on the lookout for uneven parts. So you can see here, his little rings should be uh, kind of like even to his head. But on this side, they're kind of falling down at an angle. Um, the ones that I saw had this section kind of like hanging down at a really uneven angle. Like you can see these are kind of uneven, but this one was really like hanging down low. So I picked this one because it had the most level sections right here compared to the rest. But if you care about that sort of thing, be on the lookout for it. But I mean, man, this pop just looks really cool. I think the paint scheme is, is great. The, the sculpt of it reads awesome. Like it's a great, great, great design of this and translating his open Dalekness into pop form looks great. I really, really am impressed with this. The head doesn't move at all just like the last regular Dalek, but that's no big deal. As far as having an unarticulated pop, because all pops at least have a head that moves, this is a really, really cool sculpt that makes up for that. I dig it a lot. Thanks for watching.